this is mass. This is this is painful to see. Welcome back, peeps. Selavathan here. We're back with another reaction today. Today we're continuing up Orient Season 2, Episode 7. And last episode was good because we finally got some answers. You know, quick recap, uh, we finally learned a little bit more about the Obsidian Goddess. We learned that she was the very first person to provide Kitetsu Blades for the people of Hinomoto to be able to fight the Kishin. We learned that the Obsidian Goddess's main power is being able to unite and, co and combine Kitetsu Blades and, and basically being able to control it, right? So now wants to be able to unlock that power within Masashi so he'll be able to utilize it without having the goddess being the one taking over his body. We got into uh, uh, Koroko's plan and um, what she was kind of trying to do with like the battle with the Yamato no Orochi so that's already started and everybody else is, is jumping in and getting ready to go and at the very end we saw that now and Seraku were about to clash again so I am excited for that rematch but we're not gonna waste any time we're just gonna get started with that don't forget to like share and subscribe turn on notifications down below so you know what Apple next and consider checking out the patreon for full uncut reactions of this show and many more things but we're not gonna waste time let's get started with orient season 2 episode 7 <laughs> He's definitely feeling some shame because he wasn't able to protect his lord and take out this guy right here. This guy took out his Kitetsu with just his hand? Nanao is crazy strong. That's great, man. Now that now we like cut off that connection, now everybody can jump in without having to worry about the blade energy circuit not working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kokuyo,の女神は奪えない。今頃ユラ鉱山には援軍が到着しているはずだ。どうやらすべて宇佐美殿の作戦の打ちだったようだな。ってことはなんだよ。俺たちはただの大取りかよ。何言ってるんだ
親指と小指が折れると刺さらないと思ってもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもしもし
内臓がぐちゃぐちゃに潰れちまうほどに深い海の底だよ。This guy has so many reality warping skills, he can basically take a piece of the ocean and transport you there. 海の底、あるいは骨をも溶かす溶岩の中、そういう七に送り込めば、武士団ってのは一遍に殺せる。ん<音声>みんな武士かええ、団長のおかげです。どうやって俺の水ズを破ったんだろうおいお前の今の技。シュロス been heavily underestimating Takeda here. You can't do that. 俺はな、鬼退治をしているが、鬼のことは憎んじゃいねえんだ。問題はいつだって人間だよ。この時代に乗っかって暴れ狂う人間の方だ。お前の。Pretty smart. Pretty smart. It's like only are just brainless wild animals, man. いい顔だ。決着をつけよう。青の幅<笑> Okay, okay, okay. Orion season two, episode seven. Good action episode. I was thinking it was gonna be a lot of action, and, and it delivered. We got into more onto the fight with Nao, and um, sorry, I keep calling him Nao, but you know, I'm gonna start calling him Kanatatsu. It's a little easier, and I think that's actually his first name. And uh, Seroku, and you know, we had Seroku kind of pulling out all these like tricks, tips, and tricks, and all this stuff. And kept seeing like Kanatasu just kept getting pushed down, pushed down, pushed down. And it, it kept seeming like anytime he got an upper hand, Seroku came in with like something different. Seeing Kanatatsu kind of taking on the um, the role of leadership uh, passed on to him from Tachi, only seeing that you know, we have to lead people and you have to you have to work with them and stuff like that was cool. I liked I liked seeing how Kanatatsu himself was.、Um, Um, like, really taken into the role of protecting his men. That last scene when he protected his men and, like, blocked it with his hand, showed his resolve. The guy was beaten up, got sliced, got slashed. Like, he was taking so much damage, but was still able to take out Siraku.、Uh, Shiro and Takeda fight was, was really cool.、Um, we learned a little bit more about, like, how Shiro looks down on people. He didn't even think that Takeda really was somebody he could take on. Now, I kept thinking that he was using an obsidian power, but he was a, apparently a white clad Bushi. Apparently, white clad Bushi are the strongest there is. I hope we dive a bit deeper on Aura and what they actually mean because we've been kind of getting a little bit of it、um, throughout season two. A bit more on the yellow, what yellow Bushi can do and what red Bushi can do. I don't really know more a lot about blue bladed souls and green souls, so I'm hoping we learn more about that. But yeah,、um, I think I'm gonna end the recap there. I'll see you guys around. Thanks for your support and take care. Bye.